So we've talked a little bit about um, uh, hydrocarbons and alkanes. Now, when we separate the alkanes by fractional distillation, in crude oil, there's a whole mixture of these. There's lots of the big alkanes, but not so many of the little ones. But we want the smaller ones. Why are the smaller alkanes useful? Yeah, they, they burn, so they're useful as fuels. Yeah. So, so we use octane in cars as petrol and so on. But it's no good if we get massive hydrocarbons, we can't use them so much. So we do something called cracking. So cracking involves breaking carbon-carbon bonds. There's two ways that we can do this. We can do thermal cracking, which involves a high temperature and a high pressure. And by that, I mean we make lots of alkenes. Um, and we're going to do that in a minute. Um, or we can do catalytic cracking, which means we do less a lower pressure. Um, and we use something called a zeolite catalyst. So if you've come across zeolites before, zeolites contain channels in them, which the molecules can go down, um, which are quite cool. Um, they're useful catalysts. And they produce lots of motor fuels and also aromatic hydrocarbons. Aromatic hydrocarbons are things like benzene that you may have heard about, which... Um, um, no, normally that's a uh, metal catalyst, it's like palladium and so on. So, so let's do, so hopefully you have got your decade here. Let's do some thermal cracking. So in thermal cracking, what happens to molecules when you heat them up? They, they vibrate, they get faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And eventually they get so fast and vibrate and have the energy that a bond actually breaks. So what I'd like you to do is break one of your carbon-carbon bonds and try and create two new molecules where every carbon has four bonds with it. So what you would have found is when you've broken those two molecules, when you've broken that molecule apart, something, you have to create an alkene as part of that to make sure you can't add anything. You've started with this molecule, you're going to make two new molecules without adding anything. What else? You've all come out with different molecules. You've all broken it in a different place. So I'm going to give you one example of how this can work. But in theory, any one of these carbon-carbon bonds can break to create. So you're going to make a whole mixture of products. So that's one of the issues we've got. You've all done that now. I didn't tell you which bond to break. You just randomly pick one. Um, I'm going to break um, that bond there. So if I do that... I am going to create, so if I break that bond there, I'm going to create octane, where I've got eight carbons in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I just do it on here, that hydrogen can move perhaps to go there, and there I'm going to create my double double bond. So I've made an alkene there. So we completed the equation. If I put that molecule back to right again, we broke this molecule apart there to make octane. Octane is far more useful. We can pop it in our cars and we made ethane. What can ethane be used for from GCSE? Chemistry. No. Oh, you could make alcohol, yeah. Uh, uh, nail virus, maybe in the propane. Plastics, yeah, make lots of plastics, yeah.